and welcome to this tutorial in React and uh, we're going to create a slider component the same slider components that exists in native apps well it will function the same of course it's not the same um, but this is really useful for creating web applications for mobile devices uh, so the first thing you need to do is to go to Google and just Google React Slick NPM you can co go to this page. I'm going to paste it in the description for you if you don't want to Google it. And you just have to follow the basic installation steps here. Uh, you need the package, but you also need the CSS for this. I've already done that, so I'm going straight into our application here, which is basically the uh, React boilerplate that I've stripped down a bit. Uh, and we're going to create a new component here, uh, which is going to be called a uh, slide view and we just need a index.js file of course and now we need to import some packages the first one is react of course like that we'll also need styled components just going to import that and then we need the slider so import slider from react slick Whoa like that. So that is great. And now we're going to create a class. So we're going to export default class. I'm going to call this the same as the folder slide view and it will extend react.component. Perfect. We don't need a constructor actually for now. Uh, and then we need a render method like every react component needs. I'm just going to return the JSX here. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a wrapper. And I'm just going to give this a width of 100% so we make sure that our application is actually as big as it can. Uh, this is crucial for mobile devices. And then we're going to create a, a new object and we're going to call this page and this is also going to be a div and this can have uh, a width of 100 as well for now uh, that's all we need and now we're going to use our slider uh, so what you need to do slider perfect uh, and the thing with the slider here is it takes all of the children will become views basically uh, or things that you can scroll so if you have two items here uh, then you can have two views that you can switch between uh, but we need some parameters to get this to work first and the first one is speed how long should we uh, allow the transi transition to take uh, between the switching of views and now this is in milliseconds so I'm going to enter 500 just to get half a second the next one is slides to show which is basically how many slides should we show per view or how, how many items, child items. The next one is slides to scroll and this is also going to be one because we do just want to scroll one view at a time. And then there is another parameter which is called infinite and this is basically if we want infinite scroll or not. So if we're at the p last page and we keep scrolling we're going back to the first one if this is true so we're just going to set this to false for now and after that we're going to use our page object now uh, so we can create a page here call that page one and maybe we can create uh, two more just for the hell of it so page two and page three and that is basically all we need for this slide view for now uh, but of course we need to import this to our main application in order to get it to be used. So we can just import it here. Uh, whoops. Containers. Uh, no, it's not com container, it's components. Slash slideshow view. And then we can just use it here. Like that. And now everything should be set up for us. Uh, so we can go into our application here and of course you can see that we have page one here and actually I'm going to add some padding to the 
wrapper here just to make it look a bit better there we go and now you can actually drag this item as you can see so if we drag or swipe we switch screens or views and this is really really useful for mobile app development using hybrid apps for instance uh, but one thing that's missing if you want is dots uh, so if we enter another parameter here which is called dots you can set that to true and now you have dots under here so you can see what page you're on and these are also clickable so if I click one of these we switch the page cool huh? and if you uh, go back to the uh, npm page here you can scroll a bit down and you can see the documentation page so if you click this there are a lot of different settings here. Uh, one of them is to make the sliding uh, turned off so you can have a tab bar and you can press those instead of pre having these dots here so you can customize it just the way you want which is really cool uh, and you also have as I said a lot of different parameters here so I really recommend if you go in here and try this out because this is an awesome npm package uh, and I've been using it a lot uh, and I mean you can extend this to whatever you want uh, but right now I'm going just going to leave it at this uh, which is the most basic setup you can have uh, and I hope this was helpful it's really helped me a lot during my professional career uh, developing react applications I guess that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, let's see you in the next one where we'll create some other awesome React components that you can use over and over again. Thank you and uh, bye!